Oh my arms! My arms! Musa! Musa! Today is the last day your chaos will eat my crops! Today is the last day! Musa! 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 Musa, where are you? Today is the last day your chaos will eat my crops! Kirikanajiwa, my cow is hungry. I don't plan for what I go eat. My cow, I go to your pump. I see I'm for food. See, Kachi. So, how is that? How is that? My 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 problem. Pongo tua, let me pongo tua for there. You the cow is hungry. You 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 can't cost my farm. You want to destroy me? See, I swear to God, any day your cows or your goats enter my farmland again, I will kill all of them. Ah, eh? I go mine. I will kill all of them. Cut to my bamboo rubber neck. I go to the market. I will kill all your cows. Narese mata Allah. Narese mata Allah. Umur kita macam ni. Kita faham syarat ini. Umpam pasak macam ni. Allah Allah. I will kill you. I will burn your house. I will burn your house. One light and light. I will burn your house. I will burn everything that concerns you. You burn my life. One light. Narese Allah. I swear to God, you burn me. You burn my house. Swear to God. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, you don't know anything. Where I go kill my cow? Just because my cow, I go in farm. I sell my food. I eat. Me and Chiki. May I ask you, good afternoon, sir. I know you must be a reasonable man. This is my land. Yes. I'm a thief man. Just because we gave this man land in our community, he has now called me carrying his cows to come and eat my crops. He yeah, eating my crops. He yeah, eating my crops. Okay. Uh, I will kill his cows. Hey! Can I just go? Can I just go? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, man. Can I just go? No, 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 wait. We can resolve this issue amicably. Sir, so it's because of you. You want to kill his cows here? Let me it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please, can we dialogue about this? Please, please. This thing can be settled. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Both of you are right. We cannot do without your crops, neither can we do without your cattle. They are of great importance to our economy. But what if I tell you that we have a solution to your problems? It is called virtual fencing. We can use GPS technology to create virtual boundaries for your cattle and crops. Now look at it. There's something different about this field of cows. It doesn't have a fence. Instead, it has a virtual fence keeping the cows in. And those things that look like cowbells around their neck, well, they're actually GPS trackers. If they get too close to the fence, the trackers will start playing a tune and careful, it's time to move back. If they go too far, they get a shock, like an electric fence. But after a few days, they realize that it's best to turn back. And it's all controlled from an app. The white circles tell you where the cows are and the green heat maps show you where they've been. You can choose where the cows go by moving the virtual fence. These cows are on open land close to London, so this stops them from wandering across roads and into people's gardens. But what's wrong with an actual fence? Fences are expensive and they, they have to be replaced every 10 years and they stop people from being able to access. And for a landscape perspective, it's more enjoyable to look at. The virtual fences also make it easy to prevent areas from being overgrazed and help to manage sensitive habitats. There are also versions for sheep and goats, 
Fenceless grazing is now being used in farms across Europe. Each GPS tracker costs nearly $400, so the Norwegian tech isn't for all farmers, but here it's really helping. So this gives us the ability to adapt, change boundary lines, exclude areas. It revolutionizes it for us. Okay, okay. Sound very, very good for Oh, I will take uh, take oh, uh, set, set it up. Set it up. How do we set it up? Set up. How do we set it up? Okay, okay, very easy. We have to involve a surveyor who will map out your area of your land. Okay, my farmland. Yes, your farmland. Okay. After that, they will upload that area on a GPS map and then upload the data okay. on the app okay. for visual fencing. Okay. That I, is how I don't it's understand the, way, the, the data from the data you gather from it. Yes. You now upload it on the app okay. to create a, a fence. Is it an invisible fence or what? You won't see the you won't see the fence but the app okay. will perfect that for you. Okay. That is why it is called visual yeah. fencing. So, so my problem is how we Musa Scouts now not how would they not enter my farmland when they, it's not like a physical fence that we are seeing? Take the cow in a cow in a. If you can now give an answer, they they we install GPS collars on the cows, so that as soon as they get close to the fence, the two of you now will receive an alert that will tell you that oh something is wrong somewhere. Alert on our phones. Exactly. Oh no. Oh you, you how the app works. Exactly, exactly. Wait, Musa scouts can never encroach into my farmland again? At all. There will be designated areas that it can be grazing. His cows can be grazing. As soon as it leaves that area to another space where your farmland comes, you just get an alert. <laughs> and then you're done. Please, <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> Ah, you, see, you. you see, the Igbos come out like us, but mm. I can speak the house, I can... <laughs> <laughs>